So you want to know the difference between living in Walnut Creek, California and San Ramon, California? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Living in Oakland, California channel. I'm Rich Fleming, your local realtor, and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about living, working, playing, sleeping, eating, whatever, in Oakland and the rest of the San Francisco East Bay. I get a ton of questions from people about what it's like to live here, what they need to do to relocate here, what they need to know before they get here, and I absolutely love it. That's why I do these videos. So if you've got questions, you know what to do. Drop me a text, send me an email, give me a call, whatever works for you. Because when it comes to helping you relocate to Oakland and the rest of the San Francisco East Bay, I got your back. If at the end you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up so YouTube knows to show it to other people with interests like yourself. So let's jump into it right now. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences in living in Walnut Creek, California and San Ramon, California, two of the most desirable cities in Central Contra Costa County to live in. So as I always do, let's start with the basics. Where are these two cities? Well, Walnut Creek is about 12 to 15 miles due east of Oakland and San Ramon is about another 10 miles due south of Walnut Creek. They're only separated by about 10 to 15 minutes drive when there's no traffic. But when there is traffic, it can be a 20, even 30 minute drive to get from Walnut Creek to San Ramon. So in comparing Walnut Creek to San Ramon, I'm gonna look at five factors. And those are housing, education, transportation, culture, dining, retail access, and employment opportunities. So let's just jump straight into it. So the first factor of comparison we're gonna look at is housing. How do they compare between San Ramon and Walnut Creek? Well, the average price of a home in San Ramon is probably about five to 10% higher than it is in Walnut Creek. And that can vary, of course, depending on what section of both cities you're looking in. However, that is not exactly an apples to apples comparison. Walnut Creek is an older and more established community and many of its houses were built between the 1950s and the 1980s and homes back then were just built smaller than they are now. But also homes back then had much larger lots than they do now. So San Ramon being a newer city, most of the lots you'll get are much smaller than what you'll experience in Walnut Creek. While you will experience a smaller home in general in Walnut Creek than you will in San Ramon. So which one is better for housing? Well, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you want more space and privacy, then Walnut Creek is definitely going to give you a better housing stock than San Ramon. But if you're looking for a more modern design home, which is probably a little bit larger, then San Ramon is probably where you wanna focus your efforts. So the second factor we're gonna talk about is the quality of the K through 12 education systems in the two cities. And I'm gonna argue that the quality of the education in both cities is excellent. You really can't go too wrong being in either city. They both have highly regarded public schools. Now the one difference between the school systems in San Ramon and Walnut Creek is the simplicity of figuring out the school districts. So all of San Ramon belongs to the San Ramon Valley Unified School District. No matter where you are in the city, you are part of that school district. So it makes it pretty simple to figure out the path of schools that your child will go to as a resident of San Ramon. That is not necessarily the case in Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek has five school districts. Uh, they have the Walnut Creek School District, the Lafayette School District serves a, a tiny bit of the city, the San Ramon Valley Unified School District serves a portion of the city, the Akalani's High School District serves a portion of the city, and then the Mount Diablo Unified School District serves a portion of the city. So where you live in the city impacts what school district and what school path your kids will take and it does require more effort to figure it out. So as far as the simplicity of figuring out the education system in your city, 
I give the edge to San Ramon here. So the third factor we're gonna talk about is access to transportation in the two cities. San Ramon is in between the Highway 580 interchange and the Highway 24 interchange along the 680 freeway. Whereas Walnut Creek is located at the intersection of Highway 24 and 680. The other thing is that Walnut Creek has its own BART station and essentially it has two BART stations where San Ramon doesn't have any access directly to BART. So if you want to access BART from San Ramon, you either have to drive south to Dublin or drive north to Walnut Creek. This can be a significant factor if you have to commute into San Francisco on a regular basis. The third aspect is Walnut Creek has better access to public transit. There is just a lot more bus service throughout most of Walnut Creek than there is in San Ramon. San Ramon has more limited public transportation than Walnut Creek for most of the city. So when you wanna talk about the ease of access as far as driving, BART, public transportation, I gotta give the edge to Walnut Creek here. So the fourth aspect we're gonna talk about in comparing San Ramon to Walnut Creek is access to cultural events, uh, dining, retail, things like that. So Walnut Creek, for lack of a better term, is really the shopping and dining hub slash Mecca of Contra Costa County. You have a very good mix of independent restaurants and chain restaurants in Walnut Creek and all of the major shopping in Contra Costa County is located in Walnut Creek. You have Nordstrom's, you have Tiffany's, you basically have a retail mecca in Walnut Creek. San Ramon has a number of essentially very large strip malls which offer a wide variety of shopping. And it's most upscale shopping is probably offered in the Bishop Ranch City Center. But in my opinion, the shopping opportunities, the dining opportunities, the access to cultural events just does not compare in San Ramon to Walnut Creek. So if I'm going to give the edge, the edge goes to Walnut Creek there. Now let's talk about that fifth factor, employment opportunities in the two cities. Now both San Ramon and Walnut Creek are pretty much considered bedroom communities, but both have some significant employers in town. San Ramon's largest employer is Chevron, which has its world headquarters there and it has about 3,500 employees. Other major employers include 24 Hour Fitness, which has its headquarters there, AT&T, Pacific Gas and Electric. So there are some employment opportunities definitely in San Ramon. Walnut Creek's largest employer is John Muir Medical Center, which is by far the largest medical center in Contra Costa County. Its other major employers is also Kaiser, which has a major medical facility there. So if you are in the medical profession, Walnut Creek is definitely going to offer a lot more opportunities than San Ramon. But if you're looking for a uh, corporate job, maybe San Ramon's a little bit better. But in reality, most people who live in these two cities commute elsewhere to work. So if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, or you just have questions about relocating to the Bay Area or questions about the Bay Area, you know what to do. Give me a call, drop me a text, send me an email, whatever works for you. Because when it comes to helping you relocate to Oakland and the rest of the San Francisco East Bay, I got your back. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up so YouTube knows to show it to other people that have interests similar to yourself. Hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification so you know each and every time I drop a new video and I will catch you in the next video.